welcome to this episode of Shippa. Joining us today, we have the founder of Zeus Coffee, Terence Ho. Hi, Terence. Hi, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thanks. For and I'm sure you. a lot of the coffee lovers out there were thrilled to see you <laughs> on the, the show. So um, tell us a little bit about Zeus Coffee. Well, Zeus Coffee, for those of you who don't know, it's a 100% Malaysian company. Coming November 2022, we are three years old. The business pretty much started right before lockdown. Okay, yeah. and why coffee? Because coffee is a very competitive industry. I think it's also because I come from the industry, I've been in the industry for the last decade, and I have seen the potential that coffee has. I experienced what coffee is like mm. in um, first world countries, and I question why can't Malaysia mm -hmm. have this kind of um, culture yeah and that that's really what has driven uh, this company's foundation as well so Correct. why hire locals we understood that for the industry to grow it's not just us it's not just the business but it's also who we associate in the business mm -hmm. and that's why it's so important for us to have locals in the business we want it to be our people to be able to grow mm -hmm. in the industry that you know, which is coffee. And at the same time, uh, we also have that impression where it's, we are looking after ourselves. Mm. Uh, we are looking after the community. So understand that they are more demanding. They, they pay, we have to pay more, uh -uh. but we see it as part of the long run picture of growing the entire industry mm. together. Do you see yourself as a trendsetter or do you see yourself as the a revolutionist in <laughs> changing how business should be run? Definitely a trend setting kind of business where uh -huh. it's something that has been done in other countries already mm -hmm. and uh, we have just merely taken that idea, mm -hmm. taken the business and put in our own elements into it. Uh, being Malaysian, adding more sustainable approaches as well mm -hmm. to change the way people think about traditional businesses mm -hmm. where, you know, it's not just brick and mortar. There's a lot more engagement. There's a lot more things that consumers are directly interacting with the business as well. Mm. So how do you see this coffee business is heading to? We Malaysians have been brought up by that Hainan Kopitiam culture. A lot of younger generations now uh -huh. have gone overseas, have been exposed to what yeah. it's like. And when they come back here, uh, they expect what they have overseas. At the same time, they have that Kopitiam culture. So mm -hmm. I would foresee that Malaysia is going to be, this, this industry is just going to be more competitive. Uh -huh. There's going to be more players that are going to come in and um, it works in everybody's favour. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Definitely. A lot bigger. It's our commitment to okay. make things affordable. That's mm. why it's in our tagline. Okay. And hopefully, in time to come, we can do even more of that. Yeah, right. that would be best. That would be great. Okay, yeah. good to know that. And I wish you all the very best to this <laughs> coffee in the near future. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you, you very much, Terence. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank That's Terence Ho of Zeus Coffee. I'll see you on the next episode of Shippa.